guys if you are working in a string in java then there are different classes which we can use so there is a string class and there is a string buffer class out of these two string and string buffer which one we should use so in this video i am going to explain you the performance difference between string and string buffer hey guys welcome back to automation elan i am your friend suresh dubey and in this video i am going to explain why string operation is very expensive compared to string buffer guys before that i have already covered lot many other topics related to java so you can refer this playlist on my youtube channel and you can refer and watch the video accordingly in each and every video i have covered basic concept fundamental concepts which will help you to work with java easily and uh, you can also apply these concepts in the interview as well to understand this we will refer a sample program and with the help of that program we will try to understand we'll try to estimate performance of string and string buffer so let's get started so guys this is the sample code that we will refer to understand the performance of string and string buffer so here i have used a test ng framework so this is the test ng notation if you want you can also use junit as well so here i have one method using string and uh, it has a two string variables str1 and str2 and uh, simply i am performing a concat operation over here so here i am adding str1 and str2 and uh, assigning it back to str2 so this is the simple string operation that we are doing but i want to perform this operation for 500 times so i have used for loop for the same so this operation will be executed 500 times right so this is the simple code snippet i have here i am using string buffer so using string buffer is the method and uh, here i have a simple str1 which has some value and uh, i am taking a string buffer object str2 and it has a value as a value 2 you can give any value i am taking value 1 and value 2 in string buffer if i want to concat then i can use append method so str2 which is of type string buffer on that i am calling append method and i am giving str1 which is a simple string and again this statement append operation will be executed for 500 times we are using the same logic in both the methods here and here but the thing is here we have used simple string and we are performing concat operation and here we have used string buffer and we are calling string buffer method which is append and i'm going to run this program i will run both the methods at the same time and then we will see what is the performance difference how much time each method is taking so i am using a test ng framework over here so i can run as test ng okay that is because of some other issue proceed and here both the methods are executed successfully and if you notice using string is taking 0.016 second and string buffer is taking 0.003 second so still string buffer performance is better compared to string method right let's try to increase the value of for loop for example i want to execute this statement for 5000 times and same for here as well and if i'll run this again so this time also if you notice using string method has taken 0.146 second and using string buffer has taken 0.002 second so still string buffer performance is better let's increase it further let's make it 50000 and the same for here as well and uh, if i'll run this now string method has taken 6.6 second and string buffer has taken less than 1 second here so by looking at this output by looking at this performance we can understand that string method string operations are very expensive compared to string buffer so we understood string operation is expensive compared to string buffer right so where we can use string and where we should use string buffer if you know that your value is going to change frequently then we should not use string because if value is going to change then there will be some operation which will modify some value either will perform a concat operation or we can do substring or we can do upper case lower case so if there are any type of modification is possible if you think there will be a lot of modification then we should not use string 
we should use a string buffer in that case because your append method will not create a new object each time will perform append operation it will be appended on the same string so here this append method will execute 50000 times and each time it will append it will modify str2 only it will not create any other object here so if we know that string value is not going to modify frequently then a string is fine and if we know that a string value is going to modify then it's better to use a string buffer because of this performance issue that we have understood so let's refer few points which we understood so a string is immutable once we define the string it cannot be modified right and each time we will modify a given string a new string object will be created that we understood and here is a rule if there is a frequent change then we should use a string buffer class there is one more class which is called a string builder so we can use a string builder class as well so there is a difference between a string buffer and a string builder that i'll cover in another video but both are kind of same compared to a string class so if there is a frequent change in the in the string string variable then we can use either of these two if there are no change or very rare change then it's okay to use a string class and uh, a string buffer performance is better than a string and the same performance you will see for string builder as well so these are the points that we have to understand and we have to keep in mind you may also face this uh, as a like okay you have two code snippet which one we should be using so you will only get these snippet and you have to choose which one is the which code snippet will have a better performance so there may be variation of this program but if you understood the concept if you understood the fundamental then it will be easy for you to answer and i hope you guys are clear with the today's topic and all the concepts that we discussed please let me know in case of any question or any doubt and guys if you like the content that i'm sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you